Um, so uh, we'll open the meeting to say that this is uh, a meeting of C Central Vermont Public Safety Authority. The meeting is remote only. And that means that we all need to state our name and when we speak, a name and where we live. And when we go through, I'm gonna ask all the board members to say their name and what area they represent. And throughout the meeting, I'm really gonna ask you to be recognized by the chair before you speak and to please keep topics, discussion on the topic and try to limit ourselves to two to three minutes apiece. And every time we talk, we should state our name, especially important for those on the phone. Thank you. The agenda, is there any additions to the agenda? I have one that's a, a regular annual bill that just came in by email from the Vermont League of Cities and Town. And this is for our membership. In May, we made a payment towards our liability insurance for the board, but this is our base membership of $997.50. I would like to add that to the agenda. Is there any objections? What's the number, Donna? Uh, $997.50. We will do a warrant and the actual bill would be attached to that. So you would all get a chance to look at it. I believe that Justin and Brent uh, Householder got together and we actually can do the electronic warrant again. If not, we'll do one at Montpelier Police Station, but we're hoping to do electronic. And so any other additions to the agenda? With that addition of the bill for Vermont League of Cities and Towns, I'm going to assume the agenda is approved by unanimous consent. Uh, public comment. Uh, Stephen, you said you wanted to speak. Yeah, I just want to remind you, uh, Donna, I believe you were emailed by our city clerk after we, he and I met with the Secretary of State's office, and it was unequivocal with the Deputy Secretary of State, who is an attorney, that unless you're under contract with ORCA, you as a municipality are required to record your own meetings. It's not optional to say somebody else is doing it for you. And you were informed of this in writing, I'm told, but I don't have a copy of that. I'd like you to clarify that you were informed of that. I muted myself and I forgot. <laughs> uh, yes, and the board did discuss that at the last meeting and decided to stay with where ORCA and so we're going with our own advice. Uh, any other public comments? Okay, the next agenda item is minutes of June 16th. They were attached to the agenda. Any modifications, edits to the minutes? Entertain a motion. Doug Hoyt, uh, I move to approve. Okay. Second. Mel seconding, thank you. Any further discussion about the minutes? Otherwise, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay, okay. Unanimous, they passed, thank you. The next item is an update from the Department of Public Safety grant application. I believe both Doug Brandt and Joe Aldrich Worth is here, as well as Rick Burt, who's here. Um, Joe, perhaps, whether you or Doug, uh, Brent, start the discussion. You were the ones who uh, forwarded the grant link of the announcement from the Department of Public Safety. Anything you would like to say about this? I believe the, uh, the state has released the application for funding for uh, radio infrastructure upgrade. I did distribute that to the board when you forwarded to me, so they've got it. Good. Anything about, uh, my impression was that you were definitely uh, seeking assistance. And uh, what I got an email from Bill saying he, uh, Bill Fraser from Montpelier City Manager, that he definitely supports and seeks assistance from Televate to do this application. Um, Joe or Doug Brent want to comment on that? Um, I, can you hear me now, Donna? Yes, yes, yeah, Doug. Doug Brent here. Um, that was the consensus that we had between the um, two cities 
um, we had a meeting um, to discuss when, <laughs> when the uh, applications came out, if we would approach um, CVPSA to help to fund or to fund uh, Televate's assistance in complying with that application. I don't think that uh, it was 24 hours later and the applications came out. So uh, it was felt between the two city managers, police and fire chiefs from both communities, that that would be an appropriate uh, approachment of the CVPSA to make, to ask for them to um, fund uh, Televate's assistance in helping us comply with that application process. Yes, I'll, I'll let Rick speak in a minute, but um, my understanding is, I mean, as I was reading it, as well as what you uh, have indicated in the past, was indeed that Televate already has gathered a lot of that information, but some of the outreach involving getting quotes on the equipment is going to be a real time uh, demand, especially within just the next you know, three weeks. Um, so I can understand staff not being able to do that. Donna, I have a question. Okay. Um, I thought that I'm not sure what the grant request is. I I've heard of two possible requests. One is uh, consoles and equipment for the dispatching centers of Barry and Montpelier. And another, which was just mentioned, I think, by uh, Barry Chiefs, was for complete infrastructure. And I don't know whether the total infrastructure grant is required by the end of the month. That's how I read the notice, but if there's a I'm wrong about that. Well, and the, the uh, other gentleman present can correct me, but my understanding is it's really based on the $3.2 million that was distributed to the board that the capital that was submitted to the legislators under the name of Capital Region, Barry and Montpelier, and it is infrastructure. That's one of the requirements of the grant, and that is what was about what we were talking about to legislators at 3.2. Uh, individual portable radios are not allowed. It's the infrastructure that supports it. And so maybe uh, whether Joe, Doug, or Rick, is a time for you to chime in. You probably understand the uh, application more than any of us having looked over it more de in depth. So Donna, if I might, to yep. answer one of Kim's questions. Sure. About the consoles, both Barry City and Montpelier City have stepped forward and are going to purchase the consoles on their own. Oh, and that has been approved by, I believe, both city councils. I'm not trying to speak for Montpelier. I know that uh, Barry City Council did approve it. And um, so we're all ready to move forward on that uh, part of it. So uh, to answer Kim's question, yes. And yes. the Ahead, Thank I'm you for, for picking that up. The consoles have been a, commit, a commitment by both of the cities for some time, Ken, Kim, so I'm glad Doug clarified that. Montpelier Donna, approved money for that over a year ago. And Donna, could I just follow up? Okay. Um, is there any pending grants I've seen to Homeland Security by the cities? I've seen things about other possible equipment less than the three, three and a half mil. So I just wanna make sure I understand what this grant application is referring to. Mad Madam Chair, can I just point to order? It, it is not a grant. This is state funding. It is not a grant. It's an application for state funding. Okay. So it isn't okay. Homeland, it's not well, Homeland Security. No. no, it's state budget money that's been appropriated. 
Yeah, it was sent out under the name of Vermont Homeland Security. So when I sent it out, I did the DPS initials, Department of Public Safety slash Vermont Homeland Security, because that seemed that what it was coming out of. And I call all money from the state a grant. So that's my misnomer. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll take it out. I won't use it anymore. I'll just say an application for state funds. Um, but the, well, this is very much the same scenario as what we've discussed in past board meetings. It really hasn't changed. The legislators approved the money. The commissioner was directed to create a criteria and put out an application process for that money. And this is it. The radios may be and some other equipment may be what you're seeing within the pending grants. They're certainly reaching out to try to get money to support the portables and the consoles. But so far, at least in Montpelier, I've been told that the consoles weren't successful. Hence, we put money into it. But they're still trying. So but they're all very separate items. They're not duplicating themselves at all, Kim. All right. I just want to be clear then that the guidelines that were sent to us apply to the grant, the three and a half mil roughly for infrastructure. Right. But as Rick and the Montpelier and Barry staff go through the actual application, there may be things that were in that 3.2 that do or don't qualify. And that's up for them to sift through it. I can't guarantee that the application is going to be 3.2, but it's in that general bar park that we're starting. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rick, would you like to say anything about your scope of work, sir? I appreciate that you got your price down to 3,000. Donna, are you moving the discussion of the grant? <laughs> Well, the, the, I'm moving it to what it says right here. We're talking about now the the work on the grant and giving whether or not giving a contract to do the application to Tel Aviv. So I'm asking Rick to talk about his scope of work that he presented and I distributed. Uh, Rick, please. Well, you've got an echo. I yeah. it, and we're supposed to have thunderstorms here, so I figure any minute we'll all disappear. <laughs> Donna? Uh, okay, Kim? I'd like, I'd like to make a motion in respect to the pending question, which is to postpone or defer it until Mr. Dreschler can be present and for further study. Okay, Kim has put a motion on the floor to postpone discussion of the contract of the application or doing the application at all. Well, what's on the agenda is to enter into a contract with Telebay. Okay, so you want to defer the contract discussion until next week? Yes, or until Dreschler can be back as I wrote you all. Okay. Uh, is there a second to that motion? Okay, hearing no second, the motion fails. And, and part of knowing that Justin wasn't going to be here is why I did bring it up at Montpelier City Council today and got full support for not only advancing that we go after this money, but that indeed we hard tell them to do it. So I mean, Justin is an appointed representative. So I felt like if I go to the source, we know that Montpelier City Council supports it and hoping that helps people make a decision. I don't know if Rick can get anything in in, in here. Um, I am certainly ready if you can hear me. Okay, we'll try it again. All right. So, could you please give me an uh, ability to share a, a file or two? I, I'm trying to share, but I don't have uh, permission to. Okay. Yep. Oops, whoops, 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 whoops. I always do can that. I I... Any files to be shared be emailed to me. Oops. 
Nope, nope, not that. Okay, try it now, Rick. Okay. Anna, so, Anna, Anna. Yes, Doug Hoyt. Doug Hoyt. Um, Steve, Steve Whitaker had a question or request regarding the files. We want to make sure that we acknowledge that. I, I'm sorry. So, Steve has a request for to talk? Files, files that are being shared and sent to him. So I'm, you, I'm sorry. Just a minute, Rick. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Doug, do you feel whatever Steve needs? I'm still not sure what needs to take place before Rick had already been given the floor. He just had trouble getting shared. Can we come back to Stephen's question? I'd like Perfect. to review it at the same time as you are reviewing it. Oh, that's a different question. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Remotely is one of those issues. We're only required to have audio, and that's what we have. Uh, Rick will probably talk about it a great deal, and hopefully that will fill you in. It, it, maybe I could clarify. Uh, right now, I don't intend to share anything other than what the state has provided, so that we can be sure that we answer any internal questions. So I'm I'm going to share the act and the application process, so that we can address. Um, questions that both Kim raised and to provide information that we have, you know, uh, uh, studied and, and become familiar with in order to put our application, our proposal together, our statement of work together for you. Um, and so uh, that's what I intend to share. So I'm not sharing anything other than that. Okay, I withdraw the request. I have the application in front of me already. All right, very good. Okay, so, so if I may then, um, so as as was suggested, was asked, you know, re requested earlier, what what is promulgating this uh, this opportunity, this funding opportunity, and it, it comes out of uh, of H seven forty, um, which is you know enacted by the General Assembly. So this document here, this hundred and two two hundred thirty six page document, contains the um, the requirements and, and, and the, the background on the funding. And so I'm going to scroll to it. So please forgive me while I get there. Um, I know you're not speed readers, um, but let me get to this section here. So, uh, Madam Chair, I, there's a hum on the background that we can't hear. There you go. Good. Someone's phone is uh, should go muted. All right. So here is I'm sorry. I passed it already. I passed it. Oh. All right. Okay, so as stated in this section E209-1 Public Safety Vermont Police Dispatch Working Group Transition Proposal Report, first of all, there's a, a requirement to put together a working group to support this effort of, uh, that the state has has um, um, has prepared, and, and I highly recommend, if if possible, that members of Central Vermont be there. Um, there is a funding, there is a funding and transition plan as part of it, and this represents who they're looking for to participate in it. So that I think that's important to know that and. I've already had a conversation. We've had a conversation with with Joe and Doug and Chief Pete about this, and all the requirements are are stated in here. I highlighted it clearly. In Madam Chair, can we eliminate the background noise? Uh, 
Uh, Rick? Yes. Uh, I, I'm not really finding this part helpful. I don't know about anybody else. Uh, okay. When I looked at your scope of work and lining out the, the schedules, and when I looked at the application, you know, yes. I, I feel like we either going to vote to move forward now or ultimately wait until another meeting if indeed we meet next week. I do have Jim Ward on the phone. He can't, okay. um, and I can put him on speakerphone. Jim, are you there? I am. Okay, so people can hear him. You want to say something, Jim? Uh, um, identify your, identify yourself with your full name and where you represent. This is Jim Ward. I'm the representative from Mary City. Okay, so uh, I mean, I feel like either, either you, we already positioned ourselves that we might want to do this, that it was likely to come. And so I would like us to move forward and at least, you know, make a vote and either support moving forward now so we have a good chance to get into the competition and have this grant tip top, uh, this application tip top. I'm sorry about the word grant again. Um, and I think it's heavily competitive and that we need to be on top of it. And uh, $3,000 is totally reasonable. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'd like to have a, a motion or I'll make it. I'll make a motion that we award a contract to Televade for $3,000 to assist with the application and they'll work, continue to work with Barry and Montpelier Public Safety Department personnel. Is there a second? I'll second that. Jim seconded. Any further discussion? Jim Cheney. Yes. Jim? First of all, I think Televate, I hold them in high esteem. I think they do a good job for a certain part of it. I have no quarrel with their ability. And as I wrote you all, I have serious reservations as to whether this vaguely named group is a legitimate applicant. Um, I don't think it is because I don't know of any towns that are been voted or agreed to be members. And I don't think, as I wrote you, that, well, maybe I didn't write this. I don't think the contract with CFMAS for dispatching meets that requirement. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yes, Kim. So okay. I would like clarification. I have no question that Rick Burke is capable of doing and Televator capable of doing the basic technological data, but that's only part of what's required. And the motion says that they'll be hired to write the application. The motion said they're going to assist Montpelier and Barry public safety personnel to do the application. And just so you know, as previously stated by Montpelier, they are willing to be the administrator and receiver of this award should it happen. And they, unlike the Public Safety Authority, has a good standing in bonding and can do so. So any other comments? Uh, Jim, Jim is going to be lost if we keep it too much longer. Um, well, Donna, I want to know if you've got something from the city to that effect, I'd like to see it. Well, it's been many other emails from uh, in the past. And I do have an email from Bill saying he totally supports Televate doing this and working with them. Uh, Brent and Joe confirmed that they had it. I had a discussion at city council today. So uh, it hasn't come to the board as far as I know. Okay. So Thank I'm going to call anyone else besides Kim. I'm going to call the question and I'm going to do it at roll call. So um, 
Doug Hoyt, are you there? Oops, Doug. Uh, muted. <laughs> yeah, now everybody has to remember to mute yourself. Well, maybe I'll come back to you, Doug. How about Mel? She's ready. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Doug Hoyt. I'd like, Kim went to the trouble of sending out a very long. Uh, I'm sorry, we're voting, Doug. I ended discussion. I'm sorry. Okay. So, so I was calling on you to vote for yes or no or yay or nay. Well, I'll just note I object to ending discussion. Okay. Uh, Jim Ward, your vote? Yes. Uh, Kim, your vote? Nay. Donna Bate, my vote, yes. Doug, did I hear you right? You were a yes? Oh, you didn't hear me right. Okay. I didn't say, I didn't say anything. Okay, you're still eating. I'm sorry. That's what I came back to you. No, I, no that's sorry. all right. I'm sorry, Donna. You're going to really not like this, but while I certainly disagree with the things that Kim has said, his ability wanting to discuss this is appropriate and we ought to let that happen. I want to make sure that uh, public safety authority and the public safety members have full throated support for this particular activity. And that includes Kim Cheney's well, Vote I totally me. agree. And he's talked and he sent out his pate and nobody else had anything to say. So I feel one person is allowed so much time and then we move on. Uh, so what else would you like to hear from? So you're voting no. No. This is not a favor. This is not a very good position to be putting me in. I do, do, do not like this at all. I'm sorry. I, I okay. I, I'm sorry. I rushed. Uh, Jim Ward would like to participate. He has guests and a limited ability to be with us. So I'm sorry if I rushed because nobody else had an issue except Kim. I thought he expressed it. He sent out his memo. I didn't hear support for it, sorry. What else can we say? Donna, for, Steve Whitaker, for the record. Uh, no, you're uh, not recognized, Steve. This is a board discussion. You're not recognized. Uh, Mel, your hand is up. Um, and it sounds like we've all voted, so I don't know how that leaves things. But the question is, what more do people need to hear say yeah. or hear. I mean, it sounded to me like we've been having discussions for the last few months about this and it's yep. been leading up to this point. So I'm trying to understand where the um, resistance is. Well, I can answer that question. Go ahead, Kim. The grant application came in, I got it, uh, less than three days ago. And that has criteria for eligibility and what must be in the grant. And before the application form came in, we didn't know what was required. As I wrote you all, there is no eligible recipient that represents a minimum of 10 separate public safety organizations, nor have any of them assented 
to doing this. I, so. I disagree, uh, Kim, on that statement, but go ahead. Well. Montpelier has their contract with Capital West. They have those towns. Yes, but Capital West is not a separate entity and does not represent those towns no. in any legal sense and cannot bind those towns. No, it's not binding them towns. It's binding Montpelier and Montpelier contract through the towns. No, it's binding Montpelier in a contract with Capital West. And every year, Cap West has to go and get individual town approval. And the grant application says it should be either an MOU, which I favor, because if you got a 10 or 15 year obligation, it should be a contract, not just, oh, we like this today. And Mel, that's, that's my objection. I think we need well, more uh, thought to put this mm -hmm. together and make it, make sure our applicant, we don't even have a uh, applicant it's eligible that I know. Okay, uh, the difference is Bill Fraser thinks that Montpelier is, and that that's part of why they want to start working now to do whatever's needed to make sure that they qualify. Well, you didn't send me the message from Fraser, but it had come before or after the grant application forms were submitted. I got them three days ago. Any other questions? I just add, I don't see any reason to have to be done today. I think these are substantial questions and should be answered. I, I don't know how you answer all those questions until you get in the process of the application. And that's why it was so important that Barry and Montpelier public safety staff and the city managers are involved to make this work. We have very experienced people at the table helping to elevate, make sure that we have things in place, but all that takes time. And another week takes another week away. I'm, I'm with Mel, it's like we've been talking around this forever and we have a chance and we're gonna possibly lose whether it's 3.2 million or whatever, money for our infrastructure. Donna, I have a question. Uh, yes, Doug. Could I ask a question of Rick Burke? Yes. Rick, uh, what is the difference for you in terms of uh, meeting uh, um, the goals in this application if you have to wait an additional week or more? Well, the biggest risk is um, um, one the, the, uh, at the top of my list is, is ensuring that we can get uh, quotes um, to support the funding requests that we make. So there is a requirement in the application that says that you need to provide um, quotes to support your, your, your funding. And so to achieve that, now we don't have to have a proposal on the street, We'll have to work with, we'll have to decide how the best way to go and do that. And, and we, we can reach out to, you know, two or three vendors and give them, have them give us a ROM, a rough order magnitude quote, um, or we'll have to go to an, another state because the state of Vermont does not have a vendor, uh, a radio vendor contract vehicle that we could reference for pricing. So the state of New York does, and there are a number of other states that do, but we'll have to make some inquiries. Um, you know, according to what we've read already within the application, that there, there are options for us and, and, and opportunities for us to find quotes if we, do, if we cannot get something directly from the vendors. I'm, I'm optimistic that we can get something from the vendor, but we'll, you know, we have to give them, uh, we have to make the request and we have to get the time. Um, to get the time for them. There are, there are certainly other elements that um, we have to do as a team 
And I think what, what Kim Cheney has brought up is, is, is correct. I mean, CVPSA is, is not is not submitting the application, so CVSA is not um, not the applicant, and we have to determine if the CVPSA governance model has any um, relevance. Um, it, it, it may or may not, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but there, you know, there's a lot of discovery that has to happen, and so we'll have to have an internal discussion to determine our strategy, and then we're going to have to then perhaps put some questions out to the state. There is a, you know, obviously uh, uh, Joe Ellsworth and, and, and Chief Brent um, and, and Chief Pete have, have, have had dialogue with members of the state. So they have additional insights that I don't have, but um, we only have, you know, we have less than a month um, to go. And so with less than a month to prepare this, you know, this application for the funding, we just don't want to, if the further we delay it, the, the, the greater the risks are. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm not you know, saying that so that you all make a decision right now. I'm just letting you know that any delay is going to place some, you know, some additional risk on preparing a, a meaningful, compelling um, application to, to secure the funds. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. Uh, Donna, I would uh, certainly encourage the rest of the board to continue the direction they're going and to move forward to um, authorize this, this contract. So would you, since you voted no, would you put it on the table to reconsider the motion? Sure. Okay, so Doug is putting on the table to reconsider the motion. That has... Uh, Doug Brent's got his hand up. Um, yes, Doug Brent. Eric, can you hear me now, Donna? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, I just, I just want to add something. Like Rick Burke said, there's less than a 30-day window right now. This is due on September the 2nd. If Rick wants to get us something back that we can at least look over before it gets submitted to the state of the head. Okay, yes. Um, if we want to get something back, we're looking at three weeks. Three weeks of working days for a company like Rick's is 15 days they've got to put this together. And I can honestly tell you that if we have 15 days to put this together as a city department head, as Joe's boss, and speaking not for Chief Pete, but about what's going on in Montpelier and how much work he's doing, this is not going to get done by city staff of either city. It's just not going to. 15 days just isn't not enough. So if we've got a company that's willing to do this, which is what the public safety chiefs and the city managers of both communities discussed and agreed upon, that's the move that we should make. Okay, so uh, Doug has asked for reconsideration of the motion. Yep. Do we have to vote on that? Is that... Yes. Do you have another motion on the table right now, though? No. Okay. Um, so uh, for reconsideration, that has to be a second? I'll second it. Second. Okay. I got mail for second. All right. I'm going to do a roll call vote. Uh, Jim Ward? Yes. Doug Hoyt? Yes. Mel? Yes. Kim? Uh, Kim, you're muted. Yes. Uh, Donna, yes. Okay, passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Go, go, go play with your, fun, your family. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope the additional discussion helps. Sorry that I rushed. Uh, well, the motion is up for reconsideration, but it hasn't passed yet. We we voted on the the motion. Well, that wasn't my oh. understanding. Okay. I was voting on a motion. I thought as as, as long as the, the person that had voted no asked for the motion to be reconsidered, it was reconsidered. Oh. 
Well, I thought it was going to. You can record my vote as no if that's where we are. Okay. Okay. Well, I can call Jim again and we can have a second vote. Just my, uh, I haven't, uh, Jim. Okay. Okay. Um, whoops, speaker. Uh, my mistake. Let's just be double sure. I'll consider that vote was a vote for reconsideration. Now we're going to actually vote on the motion for the contract for Televate to assist Barry, with the assistance of Barry, assist Barry and Montpelier public safety personnel to submit an application to the Department of Public Safety. Yes. Okay, so Jim's another yes. Doug? Yes. Mel? Yes. Kim? No. And Donna's a yes. Okay, we got four yeses, so we had the majority pass. Thank you for bringing that up. It probably was best to do the two votes. I will have to look up <laughs> Robert's Rules of Orders and Reconsideration. Okay, yeah, thank no, I, I, I'm sorry about that. It is, you're not supposed to vote on both, but okay. I, I misunderstood which one you were voting on. Well, I no, I, I, it was my error, so I'm glad we corrected it. Thank you for yeah, being available. Okay, okay yeah. bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bear, bear with us. See, uh, you need, you need uh, Justin here for parliament procedures. Okay, uh, any other business? And next meeting, um, I could, see- Could I ask a question of Rick Burke? Uh, okay, is he still here? Yes. Yes, 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 I sure am. Rick, are you gonna try to do any work in getting, the towns to consent to this uh, application or will that be done by somebody else? So and when, it, when preparing the, um, the um, statement of work, I, I, you know, there, there are certainly activities that have to be managed locally. And, and I, that is one activity if required would have to be ma managed locally. I, I don't have a relationship with the towns um, um, certainly central fire does, uh, capital fire does, um, and, you know, there, if required, and I, I'm, and I don't know, uh, the requirements for, you know, establishing 10, a minimum, as you said, of 10, um, uh, entities, um, I, I'm, my thinking is, is that what was said earlier about the relationship, uh, with, you know, already established with Capital Fire uh, may already encumber them to it, but I don't know the answer to that. And so that would have to be done locally if required. Okay. Am I also correct that you don't assert any expertise in the legal relationship that might be created between the towns and hypothetically the city? Yeah, that that's not that is not a televates role. Televates role facilitated. We will certainly be sure that we in, ask those questions, um, and that you know that we manage and facilitate um, of, of, of obtaining answers to questions. Um, if there are legal requirements, um, that would have to that we would we would certainly recommend and and say that you know we we need some legal support, and that will have to be obtained locally. We're not certainly not a legal entity, and but so we our goal will be to ensure that we uh, we comply with all you know with we we identify all the compliance requirements, um, and they're they're clearly stated in the application um, submission uh, language, um, and 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 make sure that we get them done because there are some that you know certainly activities that we will own. And, 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 and there are certainly, there are other activities that will have to be owned locally. So my request was that there be, you know, a project manager and a, a working group. And so, you know, basically because the two cities uh, are, are leading this initiative with support from some, from CBPSA, I, I would think that, you know, uh, uh, Deputy Chief Joe Aldrich will, will take a lead or, or, or Chief Brent um, but whoever is leading the effort, it's going to require that the, that the, the Chief um, Pete, uh, Chief Brent, and, and, and Joe are, are heavily engaged in this because 
you know, there's activities that they will have to do. And because Montpelier is going to be the recipient of, of the funding, they will have to provide certain um, documentation that's required um, by, by the grant. Uh, some of it, I'm sure that they do, insurance and other words and other, and other items. But there may be, you know, that there may be some tricky issues that we'll encounter, particularly on the governance side. And and do we, you know, do we have ten uh, entities that that can be identified? Um, and I, I think all of that has to be, you know, we have to we have to really follow the process, or we won't we won't meet the obligation. So first and foremost, we've got to, you know, divide and conquer this because there's a limited amount of time to pull it together. Well, the uh, this assumption is you're working in partnership. So there's some things the towns, will, the cities will do with you. And so that's yes. part of what within your contract, you talk about the, working with them. That's, that's right. good. Uh, so you and I will connect uh, on the contract. Okay. If you're around tomorrow, that would be good. Um, I'm always ready to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll be in. Um, <laughs> but are there any other questions? I mean, certainly I wanted to be sure that, that you know, I mean, uh, we were asked to put together just two days ago. We we're asked together to put the statement of work. I finished it a few hours before the meeting. It's forwarded to the team, and and I, I, if you haven't had a chance, I could, could discuss it. But it's relative again. It gets divide and conquer. You know, Talbot owns this locally. It's certain other items are our own, and 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 collaborate in collaboration. We you know we prepare a compelling. Um, application to uh, uh, secure some funding for this initiative. I have one other question. Is there a separate scope of work for this aspect of, of your engagement? There is, I haven't seen it. We have one scope of work, which is doing this application. That's it. Is there a separate piece of paper? Nope. Could you send it to me? I haven't seen it. Uh, okay, I sent this scope of work around. I will resend it. That's fine. I'll make sure you get it, Kim. Thank you. I'll, I'll re-forward it. Okay. Uh, any other questions of Rick? All right. Uh, uh, thank you, Rick. Glad you were thank here. Thank you. Thank you. And for much. being, you being willing to do this so quickly, you know, it isn't like you aren't like all of us doing lots of things. Thank you. Well, thank you for the opportunity to work with you folks. I mean, this is a, this is it. I mean, we've got to get some funds to, to support public safety in the region. It's a, you know, every day is at risk. So we've got to do this. Yes. Thank okay. You. Uh, thank you. And sure. uh, thank the board for your, all your patience um, about this evening. It's, it's, uh, the next would be, I assume we don't need a meeting next week. This would be, be on our agenda. So our next meeting would be September. Is there any objection to that? It would be September 8th. And at that time, we would be able to have the application, look at it, discuss it. Should we do that a week earlier? Just in case. It goes in September, I mean, uh, September 2nd is the deadline. That's Tuesday. Our regular meeting is Thursday. Donna, may I speak? Uh, just wait a minute. I'm trying to understand Doug's question. Well, you're saying well, the, the, the application has to be in on what? On what September that? 2nd, which is a Friday. Right. Our Regular board meeting would be the 8th of September, the second Thursday. You want to meet after the grant, I mean, after the grant application goes in. Well, because it's the, it's, we, you can ask for drafts if you want to see it, but the personnel staff is going to be, you know, digging in deep with Televate and getting this application done and shooting it off. And we can ask for drafts if you'd like, Doug. I mean, you're part of that okay. working group. Yeah, I would like to see a draft before it heads in. Sure. So I'm looking at the calendar right now. And what I'm seeing is the 25th because the next date is the first and that's almost after the fact. I mean, if you're looking to make any um, suggestions, I don't know, would you be? 
You talking to me now? Pardon me? Are you talking to me or? Yeah, I am, Doug. Well, if there's enough time, they can get a draft to us and we could get suggestions in if there is a need for suggestions, and then it would make sense to do that. Right, yeah. But I really don't want to spend a lot of time second guessing uh, Televate. Um, but this is part of my personality and how I approach things. I'd like to have the opportunity to look. You know, after it's after it's been sent in, it doesn't make any difference what you think. It's in. Uh -huh. Well, I uh, mean, we've put a lot of faith in our own because it's so technical with our public safety personnel in Barry and Montpelier that, you know, we've always been open to input along the way. I don't know the whole board has that expertise to give them. But if we had drafts along the way, we could give it to them direct. I don't know what the board meeting would do to the application. You're right, Donna. Can I address that? Okay, but I'm, I'm back. I just want to go back to what Mel said. I'm looking at September, and September 1st is a Thursday. The application is due on second Friday. We would be meeting on this, usually on the second Thursday, which is the 8th. I was confused about, did you mention the 22nd? Well, I mentioned the 25th, and the only reason, excuse me, I did was because it sounded like Doug wants to see it before oh, August, the fact. August 25th, yeah. I got you. And it sounds like Doug wants to see okay. it before the fact. It might not be finished totally then, but you'd have at least what's there and probably a lot of it is rounding to the finish line. I'm just, I'm just, I guess, in my weird way, trying to be helpful and throw an idea out there. And I don't know if that- No, no, okay. I just didn't was confused about the date. So my thing would be whether it's more helpful for us to give direct input than at a board meeting that takes them away from their task. Um, that's all. I mean, do, do you want us to have a board meeting to discuss it, Doug, or do you just want to give direct input? Well, I'll, I'll uh, wait, see if um, Rick, uh, can get a draft to me. And so, uh, else. What I would recommend, and 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 Doug, I really appreciate you, your your interest in, in supporting this effort, and as you have all along, as all the board has. Um, I, I I don't I won't I'm not creating the working group, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't be involved in this, and and so I'm expecting Joe uh, and Doug and and uh, Chief Pete to. To you know, be the you know be the conduit, and certainly another another you know brilliant mind involved in this is is not going to hurt. Um, so we are going to prepare this as quickly as possible, and there there you know there's going to be more than one bite at the apple. As I said, we would we committed to have a final delivery to you by the end of the month, but there's got to be interim ones along the way, and I don't see any reason why why those can't be put in front of the board and others to so that you can have your input. I. Uh, I can't speak on behalf of who's going to lead the project for Central Vermont. I'm just speaking on behalf of, of, of Televate support. Um, I'm happy, you know, to have whoever's involved. And, you know, it's, it's just going to move fast and we got to get it done. And, and all the best ideas are the ones that we need to have. Yeah, I appreciate all that. And please don't misunderstand me. I don't want to do anything or engage in anything that slows you down in terms of doing what needs to be done. Um, yeah, so I think you'd just be, you'll add value to it as far as I'm concerned. So I, I, I see no reason and don't think you would slow us down. If you're, you're, you, have a, you know your region and you know public safety. And if we, you know, particularly it says police and fire. I mean, we have a fire initiative, but you know, the grant is looking for a combination of public safety. And so we're gonna need to strategize how we do that and, and building bridges between our radio networks, between police and fire, um, as part of what interoperability is involved in. So we've got to be creative in, in, you know, in, in, in stating how we're going to achieve that, in my opinion, right now. But I, again, I, I've, read, I've read the, the, the act, 
uh, requirements. I've read the application, and and there are some there are some tricky elements that we're going to have to figure out how to best strategize. So I think one of the activities indicated is that we need to develop our strategy. Um, I, I will have recommendations, but internally, I think too that you know because uh, uh, Chief Bren and, and and Joe um, have been engaged in this, they have insights that I don't have, and we're certainly going to leverage that. They've been in discussion with you know with you know members of the state, so we've got to leverage their insights in building a compelling application. Okay, so we're going to see some drafts. Terrific. And Doug, you've been our point person on all tech stuff, so we, we're Donna, still expecting you to perform. <laughs> Donna, I have another question. Okay, okay, Kim, one more. What I understand is happening tonight is CVPSA is having no further responsibility in this grant. You've told me that the city is taking the sole responsibility to see that this is done on time and meets the requirements. And part of that, I'm making that statement, is if it goes south, it shouldn't be the fault of CVPSA. Tonight's vote, as you explained, it puts the onus solely on the city of Montpelier to get the grant done properly and on time. Well, I'm sorry, I, I see it like our working relationship with our needs assessment study and other things we've done with Televate and the cities is that we've always had myself and with the technical, Doug has been involved so that public safety authority always stays uh, involved, that we have one of us attend meetings, we read the materials, we present the materials to the board to edit as appropriate. Uh, so we don't relinquish our involvement, just, but it is our money, so we need to be there. The expertise say... and the administration and somebody who can actually receive the money, manage the money, Montpelier is willing to be the administrator. Well, That's different than this $3,000. We're gonna watch our $3,000. Well, you can do that. But finally, you're giving it to the city. And I don't think CBPSA has any further legal or systematic obligation for the outcome of this process. And I think we need to be clear about that. I'm I can't a lawyer. comprehend I approaching I, it. I worry about liability. We have no further obligation. We will consult and we'll help. But the city is solely responsible for getting it done on time and meeting the requirements. With all, they can ask us for all the help, and I'm sure we'll give it to them. Well, okay, that's your opinion. I just differ from you. I, I look at it quite differently, but anyone else want to comment on that? Um, please do so. Okay. So my understanding is right now, we are just going to leave our regular scheduled meeting for September, unless something comes up and we need to meet earlier. Okay. The drafts, drafts will be submitted to the board. Yes, that was stated, yes. All right, so by unanimous consent, if nothing else comes before the body, I'm going to adjourn the meeting. Thank you Hi. all. Good night, good night. Goodbye, Rick, Bye. good luck. Thank Everybody. you, thank you to the board for your continued support of Televate. We look forward to winning this, uh, winning some funds so we can get this, this show on the road. Amazing, actually have equipment, fit equipment. Yes, yes, it's a marvel. All right, thank you all for your time and attention. Thank you very much. Night. Bye. Bye. Bye.